y'all it's erica welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching thank you also to all the new subscribers we have i really appreciate you guys joining and following along today we're going to be doing a freezer clean out video i am in my mud room here's the freezer right here it is full of food right now and it also has a lot of ice in the bottom so it needs to be um defrosted or thawed however you want to say that and I also need to kind of meal plan for the rest of the year. My husband right now has gone hunting and he said that he did in fact get a deer. So he will be bringing home a lot of meat, which will have to go into this freezer probably in the next two to three weeks. So I want to kind of get this part down as best as I can so that I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put all of the venison when he brings it home. So first I have a couple and that's him right now. So okay, so he doesn't know when the deer is going to be ready, but he says he will let me know. Um, but I know that it's going to be two to three to four weeks, so I, I really have a short timeline to get this whole freezer unloaded and thawed and ready for more meat. So I have a couple items here that I've already gone ahead and prepped. Behind me I have the laundry baskets that I'm going to kind of pull everything out of and put it into. Uh, just ignore the shirt that's for me to take for dry cleaning I have my freezer inventory that I have done previously that I keep near my freezer um, I scratch things out as I take it out uh, but I've been kind of bad recently about doing that and I also have a blank notepad that I just wrote freezer inventory at the top I love this size notepad if you don't have one of these I will link it in the description box below so that you can get it I got it off Amazon in a three pack with like a bunch of different sizes it's really helpful, hard cardboard in the back, so it's really easy to walk around and make notes on. And then I also just went ahead and made a little calendar, like a monthly calendar. So I have two full pages of this here that shows the days that we will be gone. Because basically I'm not gonna meal plan for those days, but I'm gonna try to meal plan through the end of the year. That way, as the, the holiday seasons are upon us, we're traveling for Thanksgiving, we're traveling for Christmas, we're traveling for a whole week after Christmas. So we'll be gone quite a bit. And so when I come back from those trips, it's nice to already have the meal plan ready to go so that I don't have to be like, ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? Do I need to spend 30 minutes meal planning this week? No, I'm just gonna sit down and do it all right now using the ingredients that are in this freezer as my primary meats. There are a few veggies in here and then I will kind of round it out with some other items. So let's jump into it now. All right, a quick overview of the freezer. We have this basket here that I keep some bone broth in, as well as like the Yeti cooler things, which it actually looks like Adam has two of these right now. So we need to make sure we have space for that when we put everything back in. And just lots of stuff piled in here. So my sister lives with us, so I try to keep all of our food in the deep freezer, and then the rest of her food in the main freezer in the kitchen. So, <laughs> but now that I'm thinking about it, I know that I have other food in here that is mine. So over here in this freezer that's just in the regular kitchen, um, I know that some of this stuff is mine. Like this meat is mine, uh, this goat cheese is mine, this butter is mine, it's got a, butter, a bunch of butter at Costco. Most of the stuff down here is hers. Um, I might throw away that ice cream and just kind of like clean some of these things out and then I want to get all of my food that's in here into the deep freezer so that I know everything that I have. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna start pulling everything out and excuse Rebel Dog because he'll be going in and out of the doggy door as much as he wants to. So there he goes. <laughs> Of this beef that my mom got me it's um, grass-fed beef from her friend's farm <laughs> guilty I got 20 pounds of it from her and there is some in the freezer upstairs and like the beer drink fridge that we have upstairs in the man loft there's a freezer in there and I shove some of it in there so I might have to go get that too and see if I can fit it all in the deep freezer
upstairs. Okay, so instead of bringing all that ground beef down here, I'm gonna leave it up there because it fits in there nicely and I don't wanna like add more to the congestion that I have down here. It is 12 pounds of ground beef that's upstairs in the freezer when we start writing everything down. This basket is basically meat items. This doesn't have meat in it though. Um, and these are all uh, fruits, veggies, uh, breads items, butters, just some burritos and things like that. Some bananas that need to be put up. And this is what we're dealing with. Like that is a lot of ice right there. So this needs to be defrosted very soon. Um, got some lone peas down at the bottom there, just hanging out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave these four cans of bone broth in here. This is also some bouillon that I had made, this garlic and these um, ice packs here. I'm also gonna leave the ice pack and this little um, ice cream maker for the KitchenAid sand mixer in here. And I'm actually gonna bring over four more cans of bone broth that are in the fridge and go ahead and put those in here while I sort the rest of this out and itemize it. Once I itemize it, I will put it back into the freezer and then we will start our meal plan. filled to the brim i'm sure i could have fit it in here more neatly but honestly i did not feel like it i was like let's just throw it back in here as fast as we can because of course the goal is to get it eaten up as fast as we can a few things i didn't put on the meal plan were like these because i know i can eat these in the next week um hash browns and then these fried olive bites because these are like a thing adam picked up so he'll just eat it when he wants to some of the sausages that i know i'll eat in the next week so it's not like d dinner meal plan things the rest of it I wrote all here in like great chicken scratch and I'm gonna go ahead and start meal planning from this. Okay, so I have a lot of different meats in here and a lot of options, but I know that I'm going to have to like substitute some in because I don't like to eat the same meat twice or three times a week. Twice is like the max I wanna go. So I don't have any salmon in the fridge, so I'm probably gonna plan salmon a couple times throughout the next few months just to kind of give it a little bit of variety because we do have those 15 pounds of ground beef. The goal here is not to eat all of the food in the freezer. I definitely want to knock out all of the venison that was there and then um, probably uh, some of the sausage and the brats that are in there because I know they've been in there for a little bit longer. But I really want to get it down to where there's not a whole lot in the freezer so that when the venison does come, I can easily just put it in there and it's defrosted, clean. All that ice takes up so much extra room in the freezer. So I want to make sure we have the most room. And then I'm also going to quickly go through my pantry items and see what I have that needs to be used up. Just kind of some stuff that I got on clearance that's in the pantry that I can kind of incorporate into this to give myself a better idea of how I can utilize everything in here and then keep my grocery budget down to a minimum of just vegetables and like cheeses that we might need and of course the salmon that I wanna buy or if I find anything else. So, all right, here are a few of the pantry items that I have that I know I wanna try to use up when I'm making the meal plan. I have some pesto, some Mongolian style cooking sauce. I think I'm gonna use a skirt steak for this. Dirty rice, this could be if the ground chicken or the ground beef. Red beans and rice, this looks like it has sausage in it or I can add sausage to it, so I'll probably use a smoked sausage for that. This roasted polvano and garlic sauce, I got this at HEB and I've had, I had two of them, this is the second one. It's really good on fish, so probably do that for the fish. Um, tikka masala sauce, this one I think calls for, it calls for chicken breast, so I might use a thin chicken breast for that or I might use chicken thighs, so we'll see. That'll probably be a meal in itself. And then these two fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'll probably use one for my uh, deer chili to kind of knock out some of the deer meat. And then maybe one for like an Italian dinner of some sort or maybe an Italian soup. All right, here's the meal plan. Starting with Monday the 15th, red beans and rice of sausage and broccoli all out of the freezer. Beef stroganoff, I will use that ground beef for that instead of any other cut. Lemon butter trout with Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Leftovers, I always build on a leftovers day because we always end up with having food that we need to eat up before we make something else. 
Mongolian stir fry of cauliflower rice. Uh, that's going to be that skirt steak and then that seasoning mix that I found in the pantry. Saturday, we're not planning because we're going to go out of town for the whole next week. So we're not doing anything for those days. Then when we come back on the 28th, we'll be doing a spinach and mushroom salad using honey mustard dressing. I want to put these little like crispy um, jalapenos on top. It's a, just a really good salad. Probably won't do any sort of protein of that, but um, we'll see how we feel. Deer chili to hopefully use up the rest of the deer that's in the freezer. I will just um, grind up what we have left and then that will go into the deer chili and hopefully that we use, we use everything up before we get the new one. Um, herb salmon with black eyed peas and veg. The veg here will just be like whatever is on sale or in season at the grocery store that I can pick up. The salmon, again, I mentioned like I like to keep my um, proteins varied during the week. So we'll have to buy that salmon. And when I do buy the salmon, I will probably buy a really big one and then cut it up into three sections so that I can keep it and, and make it throughout the rest of the meal plan. Leftovers, Italian soup with pork meatballs. This will be with the two pounds of pork that I have in the freezer. Caesar salad of steak. This will also be the rest of that skirt steak. Bunless burgers and grilled veggies. Adam will help me with that since it's on the weekend. He can grill it up for me. Uh, Branzino al cartosio, tocio. I don't know how to say that, but I found this recipe on the Trader Joe's website. It uses couscous and olives and um, some cherry tomatoes, and it's with their Branzino, and that's the package that I have in the freezer, so I thought I might as well try out their recipe. Italian sausage with Alfredo sauce and zoodles. So that should be a really good one. A buffalo chicken salad. Again, I try to like keep it to where there's kind of some smaller meals before we don't have a meal. Here we have a Christmas party we're going to. Then we're going to do leftovers, which will hopefully be this pasta that we have. And then maybe we'll have some salad we could eat as well if we needed to before we go out of town again. And then when we come back, we're going to have brats of peppers and onions. Adam really loves to eat this as a meal. Um, it's just kind of a quick and easy thing. And we just dip it in mustard or we'll wrap it in a tortilla and just have like a simple meal. He will grill those brats after we cook them in like uh, a beer and like on the stovetop and boil them. Uh, enchilada stuffed mushrooms and salad. I love enchilada stuffed mushrooms. It's basically like cheese and enchilada sauce and more cheese put into mushrooms and baked with some salad. Tacos or nachos for like a taco Tuesday. This will be with the ground beef that I have. Hopefully we've run through a lot of the ground beef by the time we get to the end of this. Uh, chicken meatballs with creamy pesto pasta. For the pasta here, I'm either going to use gluten-free or zoodles. Just kind of depends. This whole like meal plan that I'm doing for everything, I'm trying to stick to very um, low-carb, gluten-free, and really not a lot of cheese if I can avoid it. Um, Adam and I are really trying to stick to doing that recently, but some of it you can't avoid, so that's fine. Chicken meatballs with creamy pesto pasta, leftovers, a Greek salad of salmon, again, at that same sal salmon cut that I'll get. Salisbury steak with potatoes and veg. And then we get into, oh, and then now we're, this is December. So now we're in December 19th. That'll be a charcuterie board. I have a, um, a women's club meeting at my house that day. So I will just make two charcuterie boards. One of them Adam will munch on and eat for dinner. And the rest will go to like the ladies who are here that day. Mushroom risotto. I love making mushroom risotto. It's such a great recipe. And I have some of the porcini mushrooms already in the fridge right now. So I'll just use those up for that. Meatball subs of salad. Again, trying to use up all that ground meat. Uh, whole roasted chicken with veg times two. Again, I will just find two vegetables at the store that are either on sale or in season. Tomato basil soup with grilled cheese. The way that I do this one is that we've cooked this chicken here. We will always have leftover chicken. And then with this meal, I will put some chicken inside of the grilled cheese so we can have like a little bit of extra protein. Friday is Christmas Eve. We will be out of town. Uh, Saturday is Christmas Day. I put leftovers. We'll probably eat tomato basil soup or chicken. Or we may have leftovers from any sort of like Christmas meal that we've had on Christmas Eve. Or we may make something different, who knows, but I just put that we will have leftovers there and we probably need to eat them because the next day on the 26th, we are going out of town for again, a whole week. And then we will come back on the third, which is a Monday. And that day I'm gonna do that chicken tikka masala with rice and vegetables. Again, a taco or nacho night. The way that I do this is either like, we'll do taco shells and we can make tacos 
or I'll just pull out a bag of chips and get some lettuce shredded and we can kind of do like nacho stack ups, which really to me is kind of like a big taco salad with a little bit of nachos in it. Lemon butter trout with wild rice and vegetables that will use up all the trout in the fridge. Italian chopped salad. Here I will probably use like some sort of salami or ham and bacon for the meat. And so that will be stuff that I either have on hand or I'll just pick that up at the store. Leftovers, some deer poppers with grilled veggies. This will either be the last bit of the deer that we have or this will be us using the new deer that we've, got, that we've gotten. And now of course we're in January already. This is the 8th of January. On the 9th of January, I have braised cod with a spicy tomato sauce and couscous. I love this recipe, it is so good. I got it out of the Real Simple magazine, and so that one is super delicious, I love it. I see if I can find it for them on their website for you, and I'll link it down below, because it's definitely one of the recipes out of the section that you have to try if you haven't done that before. If you've never cooked like fish in a tomato sauce, it's delicious. Um, mushroom ragu, ragu, this is a recipe that I do that Adam really likes. He says you can't tell that it's meatless, but I, um, I think it's delicious. Cheeseburger soup, again, trying to use up that ground beef. I'm gonna count up at the end and see how many we've used. Um, red pepper chicken with goat cheese. This is a roasted red pepper sauce of goat cheese and chicken thighs. Really good, you have a lot of extra sauce to put on top of the cauliflower rice. Leftovers, I'm gonna make cheese enchiladas with beans and zucchini, and I'll probably do cheese enchiladas that have like a, a beef gravy sauce on top. Coconut shrimp and Alfredo zoodles so question mark for alfredo is like does alfredo really go with coconut shrimp i don't know i'm just gonna do some type of zoodle pasta with this and it might be alfredo it might be something different we'll see uh grilled wings and salad we have tons of wing sauce in the fridge we just need to get some wings and grill them up the 17th and 18th they're x'd out because we'll definitely be going out to eat those nights this is my birthday and this is adam's birthday um the 19th is creamy polenta with roasted mushrooms another meatless meal or a mushroom meal uh, another chicken tikka masala with rice and vegetables, leftovers, and then bunless burgers and fries. And that brings us to January 22nd, which gives me over two months of meal plans, which obviously includes some time that I will be out of town. So if you add up the beef, let's see, we said we had 15 pounds of beef. Let's see how many we're gonna get through. We have beef stroganoff, so that's one, none there. And uh, let's see, two for boneless burgers, two pounds. Mm -hmm. Three for tacos and nachos. Four for Salisbury steak. Five for meatball subs. No, no, no. Six for more tacos and nachos. Nope. Seven, eight, this will take two pounds at least, so that's eight packages. Almost done. Nine. So we will still have six pounds of ground beef if we don't deviate from this at all, which is perfectly fine because we can just roll that into the next month. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing me meal plan and maybe you've gotten some ideas and inspiration for your meal plan. And I really look forward to giving you guys an update on how empty I can get the freezer and how much ice I can get out of there when it's all thawed. Hopefully by the new year that happens. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps my channel and helps other people find videos like this. And if you want to stick around to see more videos from me, I'd love for you to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks.